Hi friends, today we are gonna paint a fall inspired covered bridge. You're gonna need a lot of colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, black, brown, and white. Your brushes you're gonna need are your medium flat brush, medium round brush, and a small detail brush. Don't forget to have a rag handy and a cup of water to rinse out your brushes. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our horizon line. And our horizon line is the line that separates our sky and our ground. We're actually gonna do that in blue because we're gonna make our sky a blue color. So I'm gonna look at my canvas and I'm gonna find the center of the canvas. And I'm just gonna draw a line right across the center so that I know where my sky is gonna be and where my ground is gonna be. Now I'm gonna take white paint, I just washed my brush off, white paint, and I'm gonna put a, um, a sun right up here in the top right corner. Top right corner, a big white sun. From there, I'm gonna take just a little bit of blue paint on my brush, and I'm gonna go around it. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more blue paint. I'm gonna go around it. And I'm gonna continue that circular motion all the way to the edges of my sky. I'm not gonna go into my ground, but all the way to the edges of my sky. Now, before I totally clean all my brush strokes up, I'm gonna wash my brush off just a little bit. And I'm gonna add some white lines in my sky, just randomly. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna kind of smooth all these lines out now. So I'm gonna start at my sun. I'm just gonna pull these colors. And as I hit these white spaces, it's just gonna add a little bit of a different tone to my sky. It's just gonna be a little bit different, add some fun to it. Now from here, I'm gonna lay out where my grass is going to be and where my pathway to my covered bridge is gonna be. So I'm gonna start with green paint and I'm just gonna make a curved line, kind of like a gigantic comma. I'm gonna do two of those and they're gonna start pretty close together, but then this other one's gonna extend much further out because we want to give the illusion of having depth in our picture. Paint everything out here this green color. With the same brush, I'm gonna take just a little bit of brown paint and I'm gonna put some horizontal lines through my grass because this is fall, it's not early spring. Our grass is not going to be this bright and light of a color. I'm not worried if I go into my road a little bit because my road will smooth out this green when we add the road in. So just a little bit of brown I'm gonna put in there on both sides as well as a little bit of yellow.
Now I'm gonna let my painting dry. And when we come back, we'll put our pathway in and we'll lay out where our covered bridge is going to be. Now that my background is dry, we're gonna go ahead and lay out where our covered bridge is going to be. My covered bridge is going to be right here along my horizon line. And we're gonna build this area up so it doesn't look like it's sitting out in the field. But I'm gonna start with white because I really want my covered bridge, that really rich red color of a covered bridge to show up. So to do that, I am going to start right here at the edge of my pathway. And I'm going to make a square that is just a little larger than my pathway. I'm going to go ahead and fill that square in. Now from there, I'm gonna take that square and I'm gonna add a triangle line, but this triangle is not gonna go straight up and down. This triangle is actually gonna be offset just a little bit where it's gonna be pulled to the right. So this would be my center, but I'm gonna go a little bit further than that and then down. This is what's gonna help me create my perspective. Now from there, I'm going to draw a line straight back, or I guess straight to the left. And that line's gonna go as far as I want my bridge to go. Now don't make your bridge too long, otherwise it'll kind of look weird. And you're gonna take that line and you're gonna make it just go all the way there and then stop. I'm gonna copycat this angle right here that I made. So now I have my roof line. And if you're worried you're gonna lose where your details are, you can always take the back of your paintbrush and kind of redraw those lines so that you know where they're at. Draw your line down and fill that in. So I'm gonna let this area dry and I can work on this area and my front ground, my foreground until that's finished up and dried. So for with this picture, I know a lot of times we draw our trees first and then we add our leaves in, but this picture is gonna be a little different. We're gonna add a ton of leaves in and then we'll put our trees on top of it. So we're gonna practice that over here in this area. So with my brush, I'm gonna start with yellow and I am just going to create a space that has full of little dots of yellow. I do not want these dots to be super prominent. It's okay if they run into each other, but I just wanna fill in this huge space up here with yellow dots. Now that I've got my yellow done, I'm gonna go in with some orange and add some orange in there. I don't wanna cover all of my yellow up and I'm then gonna do the same thing with red. So orange and then red. do my white I'm gonna be a little more careful I don't want to add too many white spots just a couple just to kind of lighten the area up but I'm gonna keep them mostly towards the top so it almost shows a little bit of a highlight to my painting wash that brush off and I'm gonna go now and focus on my pathway so my pathway is going to start with an orangish yellow color. So I'm gonna put orange and yellow both on my brush, medium round brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the grass. I'm just gonna pull it left to right. And it's okay if my pathway goes into my grass a little bit. It'll help soften that line of the pathway up. I'm 
now I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of red just on the edges, pulling some red in. I wanna make this picture feel nice and warm. This nice warm pathway will help with that. my brush off take a little bit of brown and back here at the back I'm going to add some brown in and this is going to be kind of intermittent it's not going to be all the way across it's not going to be filling it in just a little bit of brown line to kind of mute some of that bright orange we have Last color I'm going to add is white and that white is going to be even less than the brown. So this white is going to be very simple. You don't want to see a whole straight line across. You almost want to see what we call ghost lines where sometimes you see it and sometimes you don't. So I'm barely touching my brush to my canvas and it just shows up a little bit every once in a while. Perfect. Let's build up some of our green area just along our hillside. So to do that, I'm gonna take my green with a little bit of brown and I'm going to just do some dabbing marks. This is gonna look like a little bush in the background. Kind of like I did with my tree. This should be an organic shape, so it should not be a nice circle. We don't have topiaries out here. Add a little bit of yellow to the top of that for some highlight. I'm going to let my covered bridge dry and when I come back we will add in our final details. Let's get back to this awesome bridge. Now you can choose to make your bridge um, any color you want. I live in Indiana and we have a ton of covered bridges here and I love those bright red bridges. So I'm gonna start by painting my entire bridge red except for the roof line. I'm gonna keep the roof line white for right now. wipe that brush off and I'm going to take brown and just a little bit of black on my brush and mix it up someplace on my paint palette so that I've got a really nice dark brown color. These bridges are not new. They should not look new. So with just a little bit of paint on my brush, not a lot, I'm going to go right here along the top and I'm just going to kind of pull some of that color down. So now that I've got most of that color off, I'm just gonna come here at the top and pull all of this down. This will help it give the look of the wood planks, as well as a little bit of age to it. You don't have to worry too much about the bottom line because we are going to be adding in some greenery. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the front of my bridge. Now I do have to give my bridge an opening and so to do that I'm actually going to make a square to start with and the square is not going to go all the way up.
grab my baby brush for this next part. And then the roof line I'm gonna put on here, it's going to have an angled line up, go straight over, and then an angled line down. I'm gonna keep this baby brush in my hand because I'm also gonna make a hard line right at the corner of my covered bridge. And then I'm gonna add just a few little straight lines. Remember, these can be lines that you barely see. These are not gonna be all the way across, just parts. Now let's talk about our bridge. I mean our roof. <laughs> I'm going to make my roof a gray color. I'm gonna wipe that brush off really good. I'm gonna mix up a light gray on my palette. So mostly white with just a spot of black. I'm gonna fill my bridge roof in. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna take a little bit of brown and put it up at the top. Kind of like I did with my black. I'm gonna pull that brown down. with just a little bit of black on my baby brush, just a little bit. I'm gonna add just some areas that are slightly darker. So I'm gonna put one towards the back and one a little bit from the front. And I'm gonna do right along my peak of my window, my window, my roof. And then of course that small little line that shows where my roof line actually changes from the front to the side. On both sides. Now this side over here was super fun. We're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna expand the space a little bit and remember, we do not want all of our sides to look the same. So if this side's a little high, maybe keep this side just a little low. But we're gonna add in the yellow, red, and orange with a little bit of white at the top.
I'm going to build up some of the green right around the front bottom of my bridge so that it doesn't have like a harsh line to it. I'm just going to fill some of those spaces in. If you notice that too much of your red and orange has come into your pathway, you can always pull some of that green back in now too. It should be dry enough to pull some green on into it so it doesn't look like it's all red jumping out. And then let's talk about our trees. So with my trees, normally I make my trees really big and fat and in your face. Um, these, I'm gonna use a little bit of watered down black paint and they're gonna be super simple lines. I don't need to see all of my branches because I'm really focusing on my fall colors. So I'm going to make just a couple of wavy letter Ys. shadow up here on my bridge but just underneath my roof line I'm just going to add a little bit of black I'm just going to run that color back and forth a couple times so I can still see that red underneath but I can see that there's a shadow there the white highlight to the very top of my bridge. And then if you want to, you can drop a couple of leaves on your ground. Make sure that you post your picture on our Facebook page so we can see what you're working on. And like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be a part of all of our new pictures. Remember guys, stay kind, stay healthy, and stay creative. Bye friends.